He is my Lord and my Savior. He is my Lord and my Savior. Will you welcome Malika into our church family? God bless you. You know, we're so blessed to be able to be a church that gets to see people make decisions for Christ almost every week here. You know, last uh, this past Wednesday was starting point, and we saw four more people make a decision for Christ as well. And we are just so blessed. It was a body of believers to see people making that forward movement toward Christ every week. Draw your attention to your bulletin. Inside, you'll notice there's a tear-out card that says Connect Card. If you would, go ahead and put your name and contact information on it, especially if it's one of your first times with us. We'd really like to get to know you and be able to reach out to you, welcome you, and help you get plugged in here at First Christian. Also inside or in front of you, in the back of the seat in front of you, you'll find offering envelopes that you can place your tithe and offering in as well if you would like to do that now before the offering trays are passed. I don't know about you, but I'm on 270 quite a bit, and as I drive along 270, I think about the hospitals that are along the way, and I, you know, you start over here and you see Christian Northeast, and as you make your way around St. Mary's, Good Samaritan, and, and Mercy, St. John's, and then on around to Missouri Baptist, and I was thinking about their names and why they have Christian names. And you know, the reason they have Christian names is generous Christians like you and I that have supported an organization to reach people and meet their needs. And you know, while First Christian's not planning to launch a hospital anytime soon, we are a hospital that reaches out to people who are spiritually sick, and we all are. We all are. That's right. And in this hospital that you're in today, there have been 1,125 people over the last five years who have made decisions for Christ and found the cure, Jesus, right here. And that is only possible through your faithfulness and giving here week in and week out and your generosity to be able to reach our community and around the world so that people will know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as our servers come forward this morning, you'll be able to place your Connect card as well as your tithes and offering in the plate as it is passed. I want to bring just a few things to your attention this morning. One is our Wednesday night programming and our small groups. If you haven't been a part of our small group ministry, our Wednesday night, now's the time to jump on board. On Wednesday night, we go deeper in small groups and what we call super groups, which are simply just larger groups on our sermon series, His Story. It's a great time to be able to come out to study the Bible together and to get to know people in this room better, to grow in relationship with each other and with Christ. Also, uh, the last announcement in your bulletin I want to draw attention to because this is something that you need to put on your calendar, whether you're currently married, wishing you were married, or needing to work on your marriage. This is a great event for you to come to. It is going to be a conference here at First Christian, March 15th, called Real Marriage. You know, I was at a conference just two weeks ago, and one of the speakers was talking about the biggest threat to our society and to our churches is marriage. And you know, the number one cause of divorce is marriage. You can laugh with me. But seriously, marriage is under attack in our society and in our homes. And if we want to be a thriving, growing church that's reaching people for Christ, there's one place we've got to get it right first, and that's at home and in our marriage and praying for our mate, our future marriage, uh, and our future mate if you're not married. So this is going to be a great event for you to be able to come out. $40 for couple, $20 for individuals. It's worth your investment in your future and in your church to be able to get it right at home so we can come in here and get it right in reaching people that makes an eternal difference in their life. Let's stand together before we leave.